YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to Working to Change. The U.S. soccer team decided they wanted to do something to stand up for their rights. Let's watch. Yeah, put your hand up your heart. They're not even gonna put your hand. Okay, we got some respect. Y'all aren't even gonna sing the anthem though. And she's trying. There we go. That's respect. There we go. She showed respect. Look at this. Look at some of the people not even clapping. They're like, I hate America. I hate it. Here's my thing, guys. Listen. I understand that we have a people don't really don't understand how free America be. Yes, we have some issues, but what country doesn't? We saw France burning buildings down. OK, we see other countries always. There's something wild going on. We see Canada taking the lives of people who decide they have a mental illness. OK, it happens. OK, there is no country that's great. There's no country that's just, oh, it's all great and grand. But if I was going to live in a country, if I could choose one to live in, I choose America. Is it a little wonky right now? Of course it is. But around here, we get a lot more freedoms than a lot of places do, right? <sighs> My problem is, is if you're going to go play soccer and they're going to pay you money to represent the country, the least you can do is at least say the dang anthem. Show some pride. If you don't want to represent America, just go play for another country. Go play for the country you believe is doing everything right. Go take somebody else's money. Go do other things. I just don't understand. And I understand like when it's different, when it's like regular playing, like when, you know, you got the basketball, you got football. If you're playing for the Packers, I can understand. If you don't want to do it, okay. You're in a state, okay? Even though, you know, you're still getting paid by, you know. But nonetheless, I can understand it a little bit more. I don't understand people who go represent the USA. They get on the U.S. team. And they take away spots from other people who would be fine with being a patriot. They take those spots away just to go up there and be like, nope, I don't want to stand for my country. Nope. I don't even, even go put my hand up. I'm not even going to sing it. I'm not going to put my hand over my heart. Nothing. I hate this place. So why are you representing the U.S.? If you hate where you are and you don't think we this whole country has done anything right, not even enough to put your hand on your heart and be like, it's so crazy to me, guys. It's crazy to me because it's like you act like you have no privileges here. They force you to come play soccer and make money playing soccer. They give you all these endorsements, all these sponsorships, all this stuff. They lift you up. You get to say whatever you want. You pretty much get to stand for whatever you want. People may not agree, but you decide that you don't want to put your hand over your heart and sing the anthem because of what? Because it's not a perfect world. Oh, oh, because, oh, women can't do this. Women can't do that. Oh, oh we don't represent trans. Oh, trans kids. The funny thing is, is in America, there's people on all sides. You act like being in America, it is one sided. America says this, that's all there is. But you see all of us on different sides of the spectrum everywhere. You see the people who are for trans kids, people who are against the trans kids, people who are for uh, surgeries, people who are against surgeries. You have people who are for this and people who are against that. You could pretty much be on whatever side you want in America, but people expect to be on one side of America and get no pushback. People really expect to just be like, uh, I think people should have surgeries. No pushback. Uh, I think there should be naked people at proper rate. No pushback. Uh, there's a wage gap. No pushback. That's what people are wanting here in America. And these young women and these young men just think that this is how it is. But there was a great, great quote I heard the other day. People who have no challenge become the weakest. Not having a challenge in life makes you very weak. And that's where we are in America. We have a beautiful life here in America. 
but people aren't challenged anymore, right? And as soon as they get a little challenged, they're so weak and brittle, they can't even handle it. And I don't blame America for that. And people would always want to say, this young generation, it's all of us. This is just how it goes, man. When things get easy, people get bored. And when people get bored, they find something to fight. And they find something to fight. They just get weaker because the stuff that they're fighting isn't even really worth fighting for. You know? People will argue about the dumbest things. And that's fine. I know people hate keyboard warriors and stuff like that, but I am not necessarily against keyboard warriors. How much rather you get on a keyboard and call me a fat piece of you know, whatever than come up and fight me. You know what I mean? I'd much rather that people do that. If you want to get on the keyboard and do your opinions and stay behind your computer, cool. I'm all for less violence, but it does make for weaker minds. People can't handle criticism like they used to. People can't handle somebody pushing against them. They feel like the only way to stand up for America is to stand against America. It just doesn't make any sense to me anymore. But the world has gotten easier, and this is where we're at. But once again, my opinion is if you don't want to represent the USA, you don't even want to sing our anthem, go play somewhere else. Don't even play for our team. Go play for your local city, your local little town. Keep your name out of there. Don't accept our money. Don't accept anything. We don't need you. We'll be okay. If we lose, we lose. We don't need the best players. We need the patriotic players. Because what does it look like to the whole country? What does it look like when we show our faces to other countries and we don't even sing our own anthem? We look weak 